What's up, guys? Today we're going to be doing a crystal growing experiment. I do lots of crystal growing, but I've never made a video about it. So uh, today we're going to be growing borax crystals. Let me just add these in. We're, we're going to use four gallons of water, I think. Maybe we'll do five. Hold on. Let me see how... Ah, four is going to be good because the water level is going to go up when we add the borax. So there we go. We got four gallons. We got an electric little burner down here. Uh, use a pot that you don't really care about because it can kind of stain it and tarnish it or whatever. So this I got for free at the dump and we've got electric burner on. Um, it probably won't bring this to a boil. I'd like to get this up to a boil, but I'm sure it's not going to be hot enough. We'll get it as hot as we can. So we got borax. I, I had a bunch of this already. Uh, this is a detergent booster. So this is this helps your laundry. It's like a powder. Um, it's got a pH of like 9.1 so it's very alkaline so that's good to help get out acidic stains I guess and it makes your whiters whiter your whites whiter <laughs> so basically we got four gallons in here we're gonna add let's see probably still can't see me but we're gonna add four cups of borax for every gallon of water so we need 16 cups of borax add it into this solution and then we'll go on to the next step I'm gonna make it up as I go because this is going to be kind of a new experiment for me. I'm going to do something a little different. So uh, let's just add the 16 cups so it can start uh, dissolving. Okay, so let's add the borax. So instead of, um, instead of counting out 16 of these, I just weighed one of them. And it weighed 5.5 ounces. So I did the math and we need uh, five and a half pounds. Uh, yeah, for 16 cups, we need five and a half pounds of borax. So, and it doesn't have to be perfect. So let's see how much this weighs. Oops, uh, let, let me go to the unit here. Okay, that's three pounds, let's add that. Three pounds, let's zero this out. So we need two and a half more pounds. Oh, this is, well, uh, this stuff's a little chunky. Okay, yeah, do you see how messy I am? Now you know why I'm doing this in my driveway. Okay, uh, I'm gonna add this in too, two and a half more pounds. It might not all dissolve. Um, I'll get a thing to stir that with and we'll let this start dissolving as the water heats up and we'll go do something else. We'll get the tree ready because we're going to grow this on a tree branch and see if it works. We'll be right back with you. Okay, we're going to make a base for the tree. It's like a, like a little stand because I'm going to stick the branch in the stand. So I got this little scrap of wood. I traced a circle on it using a coffee can and I'm gonna go cut it out and I'll bring it right back. Okay, there we go. We got a nice little wood disc. I sanded the edges a little bit. Uh, that'll be perfect. We'll see how big a branch it is and then I'll know how big of hole to drill in it because we'll just stick the branch right down into a hole. So let me uh, grab my drill so we can drill that out and go find a branch that kind of looks like a little tree that I also know will fit inside of the pan like the the width of the pan so it fits in. Be right back. Okay, this is the branch I found. I thought this was pretty cool. This was on a, a box elder tree that fell over so it tried to sprout all these crazy sprouts straight up. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. So what we'll do is we'll, we're gonna kind of tr start trimming it down into a shape that we like. Um, I will have to see how much liquid we have in the pot because uh, I don't, I'll, I'll probably hang it from a string or a wire or something. Oh, this snipper is awful. Uh, let's see. I'll just kind of eyeball it now and see if it's too long. Oh, yeah, this could be cool. Okay, we'll do that one like this. Yeah. See, look, I can make a huge mess because I'm outside. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to try that out. Let's see. Let's snip off this top. If, I don't know if you guys can see the top. I'm going to snip off the top a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I'm going to drill a hole in here. 
and eventually get it to fit. I don't want to drill through my table. Yeah, I'm just going to drill a hole in there and I'm going to probably have to make it a little bigger. I'll get this to fit in there and we'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Check it out. So we got our little tree in our little stand. I just kind of crammed it in there really tight. I didn't even glue it or nothing. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to get the uh, solution ready. Here, I'll put that one up. And we're going to hang this upside down in the solution. And we'll, I think I just want, yeah, maybe this much down under the liquid, you know, in the solution or whatever. We just want to hang it a little bit off the bottom because the bottom's going to grow crystals to the bottom of the pan. Uh, so we don't want it getting stuck to the bottom. So I'll just suspend it in the solution with a wire or string and we'll just have to wait overnight or well eight, eight to 24 hours we should already get some good crystal growth so i'll get that ready and we'll uh show you how we put it in uh oh it looks like it's about to start raining out okay so uh, uh i have this at the level i think i want it it's not touching the bottom so i just hung it from some strings i have one piece of wire just to hold it because it was tipping all weird i'm actually gonna add um i have a whole bunch of this red food coloring extra from project so I'm going to add a bunch of uh, red food coloring and that should give us some nice pink crystals because if we just grew them clear like the without adding color it would mostly show off the brown of the wood underneath and it would probably not be quite as cool looking. So this might give us kind of like a rose quartz type of look. Uh, so now I can turn off the heat. Hopefully it got hot enough. Uh, so I'm going to turn off the heat. And that's what you guys can do too when you're, uh, once you want the crystals to start growing, turn the heat off and, hmm, I can't really cover it if it starts raining. You know what? I'm going to put a table over it. That's why I like my card tables, my crafting old card tables I grab from the side of the road when I see them because I've put them through a lot. So I'm going to put a card table over this in case it starts um, raining and we're just going to leave it undisturbed until tomorrow morning and we're going to check on it and see how awesome it is. See if it needs more time or if we need to reheat it and add more borax. All right, we'll get back to you tomorrow. Okay, guys. All right, let me explain what happened. So, um, I checked it the next morning, and which was yesterday morning, and we had some good crystal growth but I wasn't quite happy with how much growth we had. So I actually added more borax and I heated it back up. Uh, so we ended up using about five cups of borax per gallon. Uh, so, and then I waited another 24 hours till now and I haven't pulled it out yet, but I can see now we have some major growth happening or that happened. So I'm a little, nervous that the branches won't be able to support the crystals because it's pretty heavy okay i haven't pulled it out yet are you guys ready oh my gosh whoa whoa wow look at this look at this wow that's incredible it turned out just like i hoped see it looks like rose quartz Okay, do you think I, oh my gosh, it's, this is heavy. This weighs probably, I'd say four pounds, five pounds. Okay, let me see if any of the branches break when we flip it over. Can we do it gentle? Oh, oh gosh, careful. I think once the wood dries out, it'll be a little stiffer. Wow, can you guys believe this? Oh gosh, it's top heavy. I think, um, we should have made a much bigger base. I don't even think it's, it's not going to stand up very well. Maybe we'll add some weights on here with our lead bars from the other videos. Um, wow. I can't believe this. This is so cool. Okay, let's take this somewhere flat and let's see if it stands up on its own. I guess it probably will. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Can you guys see it? Wow, guys, this is awesome. 
Yeah, I got it inside here. I put it in my little photo booth and I'm shining a light on it. I'm kind of moving the light around and it's showing off all the twinkling facets of the different crystals. So, and it stands up pretty good on the stand. I'm not too worried about it falling over and unless my cat runs into it or something. Uh, so this is a pretty darn successful experiment. So uh, let me put you guys a little closer and we'll take a closer look at the crystals. All right, and here's a little bit of a closer up view. Let's see if I can, I'm just shining my light around so we can try to show you how twinkly they are. Like when the sun hits them, they, they twinkle really nice. Very cool. Can I get any closer? There we go. We got even a little bit closer up of a shot. Just trying to show off a few of the crystals. All right. Well, that was a very successful experiment. So, and you know what? I don't really want to waste the rest of that solution that's out there. So you know what I'm going to do for a, a second video is I'm going to dip some other stuff in there and see if it gets covered in crystals and how cool it looks. And I'll do a few different objects over the next, I don't know, five days or a week and I'll put it all in the next video. So if you like this sort of thing, uh, hit the like button and subscribe because I know how to grow a lot of different crystals uh, using a different bunch of different elements. So we can do more crystal growing videos and I think this one turned out pretty good. So uh, thanks for watching guys. And I will get back to you with the next one. See ya.